Welcome. Now, this is the Sudanese Lore Series Episode 3. Re Return of the... The Obamas. So now, we have some sad, sad news. Obama got voted out as president. And wanna know who became president? Michelle Obama. Obama's now vice president. But Michelle Obama's task force is still helping out in Sudan. Now, if you look in the maps, Good Sudan, also known as South Sudan, right here, I'll show you guys the map in a second, has pushed almost on the way to Carp Town. All they have to do is just run into it and they should win the war. But now, and Michelle Obama's force is uh, coming in from the east to, you know, finish, finish off the Sudanese with them. Now, we'll get into everything else in the world, and, you know, soon. But now, because this series takes so much money, time, and effort to produce, if you have at least one of these, give it to me. Uh, you know, just contact me. Find a way to. I only have two of these. This is the rest of the funding. I spent at least zero on this one. But you know, that, that's why you know this is a serious decrease in quality. See, turtles like this... Uh, you can't really see his face, but you can see his head from this side. See, he he's our editor for this series, and as you can see, he has many injuries. His shell's cracked, he's missing, like, several limbs. People like him could use your support, so give me money. Anyway, so here is the map. As you can see, yeah, uh, this is good Sudan. It's also known as South Sudan. This is a uh, car town. This is Egypt. We're also gonna have to invade that. Michelle Obama has a plan. Uh, this is Chad, our good friend. No bad Sudan. That's your right now. That this is car town right here. Anyway, so if you couldn't remember all the alliances, there's a new one. It's between Portugal, Italy, and Malaysia. Now you may not know where like all of those are. Portugal borders Spain. And, uh, Italy has pizza. And Malaysia, they have a missing plan. So, anyway. They signed an alliance, I know. Pretty sad. They are gonna try to get more people in the alliance. That way they can take down the newly formed Soviet Union. Yep, they reformed. Putin did it. Yeah, he, he, he went and invaded everyone. I don't know how the, uh, the, the UN didn't stop him. But they, just, I mean, the UN's pretty much dead at this point. I mean, they're all busy in Sudan. So why stop Putin reforming the Soviet Union when you can intervene in Su 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 Sudan? So now, in, uh, in America, the Americans, they invaded Mexico. You know, they're still working on that invasion. They decide to also occupy Cuba, because why not? So now that, you know, they're doing all their American stuff with, you know, Michelle Obama... Uh, the the Canadians put down the the Quebec revolt, so you know no more French people in Canada. I think there's actually still French people in Canada, but you know there's no no revolt, uh, no rebellious ones. France, the D-Day landings have landed. So now the D-Day landings took place from Brighton, which is a real city. I think PewDiePie lives in it. Anyway, uh, so if you look at this very accurate scale, so the, this this is right here. Uh, here, I'll try to get a high quality one. So you you see the England, which is right here. This is the France, and right where that little uh, this, this this thing is. That that's where the D-Day landings took place. So now, you know Nathaniel, our agent in uh, the UK, he got some Irish guys that I randomly met uh, raiding Minecraft realms and uh, spreading God's uh, word to them. Uh, so yeah, he got those guys to also help. So you know, we got uh, United Front over here. And so with all these updates, I mean, Texas man named Koala, he went on an expedition over to Norway. So now in Norway, he stole some nuclear bombs. And he nuked Estonia. Random country. I don't know why he did it. He just did. Anyway. So... You may be wondering, why did all this happen? See, it's because Sudan 
They're just stupid. Now, this one might not be as eventful as the other ones, but it's still pretty good. Because this one has a song. Just, just give me a second, I'll get the song. I hope you like staring at bright lights. South Sudan is a cool country. I haven't gone to it, but it sounds pretty cool. Nothing bad has ever happened there. And it's pretty cool. Alright, that's the song. Let's get back to the lore. So, it actually occurred that the Soviet Union got 30 million random people from all across the world, and they put them in an army. Now, this one is actually not the Red Army, it's the Maroon Army. And with this army, they invaded Poland, they invaded the Baltics, which includes Estonia. They tried to invade Finland, but failed. Uh, they, in they invaded uh, Moldova. And they, they, they invaded quite a lot of places. But then out of nowhere, Darth Vader from Star Wars showed up in the middle of Poland, and now he's fighting a war. Now, there'll be an update to this in the next episode. So I hope you like waiting months for videos. Because that's what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I probably won't be a month, but anyway, I might uh, update. I might, like, get a mini update sometime, if I feel like it. You know, just it's it's kind of hard to come up with ideas for this. That's why this episode isn't the greatest, but I swear the next one will be 